Hi guys, it's me, Chas and welcome to this incident analysis for the 2019 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Now, instead of what we've done for the last two uh, types of videos when it comes to analysing incidents from a Grand Prix, instead of just focusing on the race, we're going to focus on the weekend because of course in Baku, there were plenty of incidents, not only in the Grand Prix, but of course qualifying. So we're going to review incidents from both qualifying and the Grand Prix. And we'll start off with the biggest incident of them all, Charles Leclerc crashing out in Q2. And I'm going to analyse how he could have done better in this uh, mistake he made and how another driver proved how you can uh, recover from making a mistake prior to having an accident at the castle section in Baku. And we'll go to this onboard shot of Charles Leclerc. Now he's heading towards the castle section on the medium compound tyres. Leclerc at this point of the weekend was so, so quick and looking very, very good for uh, a second pole position in his young Formula 1 career. But then as he headed to the castle section, he locked the inside left front tyre going into the corner. Now... The castle section is such a tough part of the track. It's so, so tough because you have to be almost perfect to get through it without having a crash. Now, if you do lock up, the best thing you should do is go down the escape road because the chances of you locking up and making it through the corner without crashing are quite small because of how tight uh, the corner is, especially on exit but you can see here he's locked up his left front tire and continues to lock it up as he goes into the corner and this is where the mistake really begins if you look at the steering wheel he's turning into the corner with that locked tire and that to me is him being too overconfident thinking that he can get away with it into that corner and make it through the corner and live to fight another day but of course he did not and you can still see the tire right now is just about stopping to lock but he's still turning into the corner trusting his car to make it through despite making quite a big error going into the castle section and once we get to this point Leclerc is bound to have a crash in this section of track because He's too wide on entry. On entry, you have to be almost clipping that yellow wall on the inside. And he is nowhere near clipping that inside wall. So he's already now running wide into the castle section. And again, because it's so tight on exit, if you run wide on entry, you're guaranteed to have a crash. But another thing happened which basically guaranteed that not only was going to have a crash but it was going to be quite a big one and this was it he clumped over the curb and it made sure that he lost control of the car and he couldn't turn the car in really anymore after that and then at this point you can see on the steering wheel he's turning as far to the left as he possibly can but there's nothing he can do. The accident is going to happen. And it does. A massive accident. And you have to say, it was Charles Leclerc's fault. He was too overconfident and really should have just gone down the escape road as our current five time world champion, Lewis Hamilton, proved the day before on Friday. Now, it's a very similar incident up until, uh, you know, when you get to the escape road or near the escape road. So Lewis Hamilton here, he's locked the same tyre. He's turning into the corner, but he realises that with a locked tyre and a wide entry to the castle section, that he is going to crash. So what he does is he straightens the steering wheel and decides instead to go down the escape road because there is no point taking that risk. Even if you do lose time, you might as well go down the escape road and get going again. 
even though again it will take time to either spin around or reverse out and that's exactly what lewis hamilton did went down the escape road and that is basically a guide as to what to do when it comes to this section of the track if you know you're going to crash or there's a good chance you're going to crash just go down the escape road don't take the risk because if you do then you're going to crash just like Charles Leclerc did and I have seen plenty of people after the Grand Prix saying Leclerc was uh, in the Grand Prix cost by uh, the strategy that Ferrari put him on I have to disagree because if Charles didn't make this mistake he made then he could have gone for the win but of course he made the mistake and he ended up qualifying in 10th and starting the Grand Prix from uh, P8. But we'll now move on from that and go on to another incident during the 2019 Azerbaijan Grand Prix weekend. And we'll go on to the Ricardo Kvyat crash during the race. And it was quite a strange one, but I think it was a slam dunk, um, you know, penalty for Daniel Ricardo, which he did get with a three place grid penalty for the Spanish Grand Prix and it's rightfully so because he was definitely at fault for this incident now at this point going down into turn three Ricardo is on fresher tires he's trying to get past because he wants uh, that point so he's trying his best to get past but tries I think a bit too hard going down into turn number three you can see here he is kind of past him at this point but as i'll show on this on board you can't see it fully uh but you can kind of see it that he has locked the inside left front tire going into turn three so he really has compromised his entry and exit uh through turn three and on the run down to turn four and very similar to the castle section if you lock your inside tyre going into this corner, again, it's better to go down the escape road than try to turn in and end up crashing in the tyre barrier. So what Ricardo does smartly at the time is go down the escape road. Now Kvyat, because Ricardo was alongside him, Kvyat can't really do anything because he can't turn in because Ricardo piled past him so quickly. So Kvyat then get stuck on the outside of turn three and had to put it into neutral and then try to get going again but in ricardo's panic to try and get back on track and not lose position he then reversed straight in to danny kvyat and that's why it's clearly ricardo's fault because he forced himself and kvyat off the track and then caused Kvyat's uh, floor damage after his failed overtake at turn three. So definitely Ricardo's fault. Kvyat, I feel sorry for. Nothing he could do in this incident. He was guilty of being in that place at that time. So shame for him. But that's just the way it is sometimes. But definitely Daniel Ricardo is at fault for forcing Kvyat wide. And then causing his floor damage by just reversing straight into him. And the reason he reversed into him was because, again, he was in such a panic to get back on track. He didn't look in his mirrors and just reversed, assuming that Kvyat was not there. But, of course, he was. Now, the final incident I'm going to look at is Robert Kubitz's crash at the castle section in a similar way to Charles Leclerc uh, in terms of where he hit the wall, but not in terms of the mistake that led to it. So I'll go on board here with Kubica. Now you can see here going down to the castle section. Now this time compared to Leclerc and Hamilton, he has not locked a tire going into the castle, uh, castle section. So he's looking pretty good. And here as he tries to turn in, everything looks fine from Robert Kubica's on board. But what causes him to crash was... A mistake that doesn't look simple, but for a racing driver of this level, it is a bit of a simple mistake to make, especially at a street track. He turns in slightly too early and clips the inside wall. And this is the 
exact moment where he hit the wall and by the way with the camera quality that's not me that's the onboard camera quality at the point of contact and then because he did that you can see that the left front wheel is now broken and pointing the wrong way and that means that Kubica is absolutely one million percent gonna have a crash because he can't turn out of the barriers and inevitably go straight into the barriers ending off what was a disastrous qualifying and really considering the embarrassment of practice one was a disastrous weekend for the Williams team in Baku but that's what I think of those incidents in the comments section let me know what you think of these incidents and I'll try to debate with you uh, your point of view against my point of view but make sure guys to like this video and again comment down below what you thought of this video and what you thought of these incidents and of course don't forget to subscribe for more content like this but until next time guys it has been me shazza hd goodbye